You're in the Great Bay of Tokyo going off to study at Master Hakusai's famous painting school, an absolute master at painting landscapes, the changing of seasons, and a number of characters. You will try and learn everything you can to become the best painter in the school. This is Kanagawa, which was designed by Bruno Catalo and Charles Chevalier and published by Yellow. Hi everybody, my name is Nick Murphy of the Brothers Murph and we're here with Board Game Geek and today's In Focus is sponsored by the Board Game Geek Store. Well, I've got my brushes and a painting in mind, so let's get this game down to the table to go In Focus on Kanagawa. Kanagawa is a card drafting set collection games where you will be painting a continuous landscape in the pursuit of being the best painter in the school. Each player will get a starting tile and two brush ponds. The top of the starting tile is the start of the landscape and the bottom is your studio. The school board will be placed in the middle of the board with the various diplomas above it. At the start of the round, the first player will begin to populate the school board. The first player will place cards out into the first row up to the number of players. If the space the card is being placed on is red, that card goes face down. Starting with the first player, players will have to decide if they will broaden their knowledge and pass, or put what they've learned into practice and take a column of cards. Keep in mind, this is a column of cards, not a row, so the player at this point would only get one card. Once all players have passed or taken cards, the first player will then fill the second row, skipping over any columns that were taken. The remaining players again have to decide to pass or take a column of cards. If any players pass, the third row will be populated and any players left over will have to take a column of cards. Once a player takes their cards, they will immediately put them in their player areas as either a print expanding their landscape or as a lesson. Placing a card as a lesson costs nothing, and the player will just slide the lesson underneath the previous lesson card. Lessons give the player the knowledge on how to paint certain landscapes, gives them extra brushes, the first player marker, or the ability to move brushes. Using the card as a print requires the use of skills on the lesson cards. On the bottom of the card, it will show you what type of landscape it is, and the player will need to move a brush to that landscape in their lesson cards to make that print. Players only start with two brushes and only one ability to move a brush, so getting those extras can be paramount. Though, if when the player drafts their cards, a brush is already on a landscape type that the player wants to paint, they don't have to move it. Okay, so now we know how to paint and how to get lessons, but what are we trying to do with this painting? The players are trying to get diplomas. These are achievements worth points at the end of the game, but it's a race to get them. Each diploma has a requirement, like a painting having three, four, or five trees, or having various buildings, animals, people, or certain skills. The moment a player meets a diploma requirement, they will have to decide whether to take it or to try for higher achievements. The player can have a maximum of one diploma of each type, and if they pass on a lower diploma, they cannot go back and take that diploma at a later time. The game will end once at least one player has 11 cards in their print or when the deck runs out. Then players score. They will score one point for every card in their print, and they will also score one point for the longest continuous season which is shown in the top right of every print card. They will score their diplomas and then gain or lose points that are on their print and lesson cards, and in the end, the player with the most points will win. This game is all about strategic push your luck. You want to wait and get more cards, but the card you need is right there. And if you pass, someone might take it before you. You want to wait to get the better diplomas, but if someone then takes those, you then can't go back to the diplomas that you passed up. And all of this hinges on the fact that you need lessons to paint the things you actually want to paint. And if this kind of puzzle seems like something you may enjoy, make sure to check out Kanagawa's page on BoardGameGeek.com and join the discussion. And if you want to upgrade your next game night, make sure to check out the Board Game Geek store. Well, until next time, I've been Nick Murphy. We're here with Board Game Geek, and we've been going in focus on Kanagawa. Have a great day.